So this is uh, inside SY Sublime. This is my uh, uh, inverter that I bought, uh, MultiPlus 123100, and my uh, MMPT 400 amp fuse, all Blue C systems. And uh, this is the back side of it. Of course, there's a whole entangled mess over there that I've got to deal with eventually. And my auto um, battery balancer thing, whatever that's called. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it's a project. But today's project is we're going to put in a voltage meter thing, smart solar pluggable display. Which I'll put out, which is one handed. So we're going to put this in here, like that. So, and I'm going to have to do all this one handed, so it's going to be kind of tough and slow, but I don't care. Um, so, we're going to pull, get some tape, and so we're going to pull out. Two little plugs out of here. I don't want to scratch the finish on my thing. So I'm going to pull out a plug here. And I'm going to do one over here. But I'm going to use the same piece of tape because I don't like wasting stuff. So um, I'm going to. Sorry about that. Blade here. Right, drop that one. I guess it doesn't really matter, they come out pretty easy. Oh no, that one broke. Why is it every time you do something, something always breaks and doesn't work out properly? I mean, seriously? I mean, dude, come on. Every time, something has to go wrong. So, I'm going to put the, oh my god, that seriously, that just went in, you're kidding me, that just broke off, it's like that, that one's like that, oh crap, now I've got to get a drill and drill it out, oh this is bullshit, <laughs> so, this is fucked up. Damn it, I hardly like to swear, but... Damn it. There's always one thing that's always difficult. It's always one that has to be difficult. So, anyway, I... Let's get these other ones out. These take that off since that's no good. Let's just get this one out. So, I'm going to have to try and somehow. Damn it. Okay, so I don't know how to get that out without drilling it. So this is going to go in here like that, like that, and that's it. So try to fit that. My screw. So it's got some 3M um, tape on the back. Maybe I can just. 
screw them on together. Put the screw in there and I'm gonna just get rid of it that way. See if this screw will go in here and just try and get rid of it. That's not gonna be good. Well, I'm gonna have to drill that out. Damn it. This is just, this is not good. I don't know why stuff has to be always difficult. Not really going the way through, that's a problem. I don't think I would drill big enough, small enough for that anyway. Well, I'm going to have to get the thing done. Um, so it won't go in. So I'm going to have to get the drill. I'll stop this video for now and uh, post another video um, once I get this drilled out because I can't do it one handed. This is just ridiculous. Why would they have to do that? So, all right, I'm going to get back to, let's see if I can get this done. So, let's just get this done. I don't know how to get this done, but I'm going to get it done. You know what, in the meantime, we can hook up, actually, so I have a VE Direct cable here, and it's going to go from underneath here, there's a thing underneath here somewhere, uh, somewhere under there there's a VE Direct thing, and then it's going to go up to this one here. So I'm just going to hook up the three direct for now. that and then this is going to go up here sorry about the angles flipping around but it's going to have to come up this way man I wish I had some decent camera gear decent camera gear would be awesome up here I don't have to hang on to stuff. Oh, up in there. And this is the V Direct for here. V Direct One. We got a we got a match. So we got some small cable ties here, and I'll 
put these cable ties on. Everybody knows how to put a cable tie on, I think. Just swing it like this. I think it's in focus or in frame, I have no idea. Okay. Okay. That is that. And then I'll put another one here. See if I can stay in there somehow like that. alarm uh, and then I'll have some fixture things for this I'll fix that to the wall like that okay so that's the VE direct now my other problem is this here we get that piece of plastic out and um, so I'll go get a drill for that and just drill it out a bit um, so yeah, this is the back of my unit. Wires everywhere, but this is how I like to do things. Um, so I have a 25-gallon fuel tank, and then uh, my autopilot's gonna go underneath here. When I get it, I'm gonna get a Garmin um, autopilot. It's gonna go there. Uh, the hydraulic autopilot. There's going to be another video of me. Um, I'm going to um, show the programming of this, all of this, and powering up at a later date. Uh, I have a friend of mine who's going to come over and help me with the AC120 selector switch because I got the AC from Shore Power, the generate, the uh, inverter, and then I've got the um, the generator as well that I'm going to be hooking up off this. So. And I don't know which wires go which really, so I'm a little bit uh, not comfortable with that at the moment. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with that. And then um, I'm going to be hooking all these other three wires, 12 volt wires up, AC wires up, and then that's it for that. And I've got to get a wrap for this, um, a thermal titanium wrap for this and um, hook everything up and then paint of course I'm going to paint all in here I'm going to put another light, i got a light here and I'm going to put another light, paint underneath here and put another light in here and then I'm going to put another bilge pump down in there um, and so yeah that's that's pretty much it for in here um, yeah. this is my um, Excel uh, on-demand water heater I don't know if you can see it because of the sun, but this is my XL on-demand water heater. It's really good. It's a propane water heater, and it comes the water comes out really, really hot. And so I got it on eBay. And it's a really good deal. I think it's like two hundred and twenty dollars or something. Uh, but it's ventless, and it's also um, it's uh, well, I just said it's on demand and it's ventless, so I don't have to rent it out. I do have vents here just in case. I'm gonna have to redo something with those too and fix those up as well. So, yeah, my steering system is all hydraulic. Um, I had the re hydraulic ram rebuilt, and um, it's all hydraulic steering system, which. I like better than cable. Uh, there's a full chain drive underneath, so that chain goes all the way up to the helm. Normally, it's a piece of chain with a bit of cable in between, and I kind of really didn't like that. So 
I had a full chain made all the way up that goes all the way up to the top of the helm and then it was just more sturdier that's a little bit noisy when you turn but you know <laughs> at least you know you're turning if it's moving so and when I did the uh, Garmin hydraulic um, autopilot um, that's going to be great for big big weather like strong currents and tides and etc just they're pretty much indestructible they're better than the electric ones um, they're stronger and uh, they're about four thousand dollars for the Garmin hydraulic um, hydraulic autopilot so yeah then I got my I put installed a pump valve here so I can bleed my system which is actually okay which is not connected right now because I have to just look at some broken hoses so um yeah, that's what I've got in here so far this is this is the the uh heart of uh SY sublime I'm just gonna paint all this wall so this has got all mold I've got to treat treat this all this with uh, bleach and I'll probably paint back here too I don't know we'll see I'll figure it out uh, that's it for now um, I'll get back in here and I release another video today of I won't be drilling this out with the camera on but I will get it out somehow and um, I'll get this out and then I'll uh, make a video on actually installing the, uh, the smart controller that I have here. It's got some 3M stuff on it too. I'll stick in it and then it will go on there like that. Once I get the that hole cleared out. <sighs> I probably don't really need it but I like gadgets and I like things to be complete. So I don't know. I um, just did that. I do have to get some plywood like I did here and I'm going to have to mount this off the wall a little bit so it's it's got more airflow behind it because I really don't I don't know how hot these are going to get but uh, I don't want these touching the, the paint because I did have a fire on here in February um, I employed somebody that I was thought I was that said they knew what they were doing and I was helping them out because they needed some work and they started a fire with the AC panel and uh, everything in here was burnt. There wasn't much fire damage but plus I couldn't get in here with the fire extinguisher to um, put it out. Um, I did more damage with the fire extinguisher than the fire did. So. Yeah, because I didn't know what the amount of damage. There's a lot of heat and a lot of smoke in here and I couldn't see. And so I did more damage with my fire extinguisher than I did with, than the fire did. So that's something to remember uh, when you uh, when you use a fire extinguisher. Uh, I am going to get one of those um, automatic fire extinguishers for the engine bay. I'm going to mount it up here. It's got its own... And I fire a detector thing on it or whatever and it'll go off if there's a fire in here so I will get one of those eventually so, but yeah it's a lot better than what it was so all right I will uh, end this video now and I'm going to get the um, I'm going to come back in and do take the thing out and install that happy new year